So I do apologize for the uh, lack of light. We're uh, outside here, it's about 10 degrees right now. I'm about to pull my knives out of the makeshift kiln I got here and uh, quench them. Harden them up. First I got magnet, regular magnet up, an old CB antenna, longer channel locks. Got to have some long pliers because this is real hot in here. These knives are a couple thousand degrees right now. Okay, see that's still sticking to my magnet so it still needs some time to cook. Probably another 20 minutes or so. Check back with you then. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give this another try and see if these knives are ready. Got my magnet. Start with the big boy here. Okay, it's not sticking a little bit. Back in there. Tight. Let's try. Let's try this guy. Okay, not sticking, not sticking. Clenched. Try this guy. Not sticking. Alright. I had a little guy in here somewhere. I don't know where he went. There he is. Yep, he's ready. This big one here is going to be the exception, I think. He's going to have to cook a little bit longer. Cover him up real nice. Spot. Let him cook. Be back in a few. All right, let's go ahead and give this another try here. Let this big boy cook for another five minutes, and hopefully, he'll be ready to quench. Oh yeah, it's not sticking. We're good. All right, we got all the. All the knives quenched. Let's go ahead. Drop the fire. Give you a little idea what I'm working with here. It's a real hot coal fire. I made it in a garbage can you can buy at a hardware store. There's a piece of hose that I took out of an old washing machine going to an old hair dryer. Money spent, zero dollars. Well, aside from the coal. And I got my uh, knives quenched here in this bucket. And we'll go ahead and... It's kind of warm, huh? There's the big boy. It's quenched, a little black. I'm going to have to go clean it off. Otherwise, looking good. Well, here's the knives after they were cooked in the kiln. Uh, you can see that they're very, very tarnished uh, from the cold and from the heat and uh, I know for sure all the blades were heated to the right temperature I'm not too worried about the, the actual handles because they they're gonna need a little bit of flexibility in them you don't, you don't need them to be as hard as the actual blade most of your leverage is gonna be put against the blade that's all I'm really worried about okay I'm gonna go ahead and clean these guys up on the sander here and uh, get back to you when I'm done. I'm about ready to show you how I'm going to take the tarnish off of these blades so that they can end up looking like that. Yeah, see? Okay, this is from the kiln. I'm cooking it. Got a little makeshift uh, angle sander here. Basically just a belt sander. That's my advice. Good, huh? 
see the difference a little bit of polishing can do. I'm going to finish the rest off by hand with a sanding block. But the difference here is, you know, this only took about five minutes. What you want to do is, you want to make sure that you run your blade, you know, vertically like this across the across the knife on both sides because you want to get that a nice, you know, uniform uniform shine which is going to look, you know, with the lines coming down, which you're also going to sand out later, but, you know. And then I usually do the rest, you know, just just hold the hold the handle against it, get it nice and cleaned off so that when we put the the wooden handle on, there's no burrs or anything else that's going to hold it from sealing itself tight. Okay, we'll be back in a few. Well, here we go now. I got my handle put together. And what I made my handle out of is basically just a couple pieces of hardwood flooring here. Um, you can get it at any hardware store. Uh, it's a couple... You can get them a couple feet long, but these are quarter inch pieces. Same thing I used on this knife here. I'm going to go ahead and try to open this vise with one hand. Show you what I did. You can see I went ahead and put my brass pins in. And I glued it and sanded it flat on both sides just so that once it glues into place everything's going to be in one spot. But uh, <clears throat> when I get done letting this dry and pull itself together, I will go ahead and start polishing up the handle with the, with the sander. Basically removing all the edges, all the sharp edges, rounding everything off. I'll see you then.